Art Shine. We're going to be drawing Chippy today. So what you're going to need is paper and a Sharpie. Okay. Can you see? What I'm going to do, because I'm filming this myself, is draw it and then hold it up for you. Okay? The first thing you're going to do, take your Sharpie, measure two fingers away from the top. Okay? Like this. Two fingers away. And then you're going to make a letter C. So I'm going to draw that and I'm going to hold it up for you. Okay? A letter C. That's easy. But it's a C that's upside down. Okay? And then you're going to draw a slightly curved line coming out from that C. Like this. Okay? Got that? Remember, you can pause the video at any time. I hope you're staying healthy and safe. Okay, and then you want to give your little chipmunk a smile, or your squirrel. Sorry, it's a squirrel. So I did that by a curved line with a letter, like a little letter T. Can you see that? Okay. Now let's do another ear, just a hint of another ear. Make a curved line beside here. Okay, take you a minute to catch up. You ready? Now we're gonna make an eye. So for the eye, I like to think of it as an almond shape. Let's see what I've done on this original one, yeah. And then I color that in and leave two spots white for the highlight. Okay? Okay! And now you can give him his teeth, little squirrel teeth, just by making a square with a line in it. Okay? And just a line for the nose, look. It's just a line on an angle. Okay? And then you wanna go under his chin like this and do a curved line. Give him a cute smile and a curved line for the chin, okay? Now the back, you just do a curved, short curved line. And for the back end, it's just a big, long curve, okay? So I'm gonna do that, and I'll hold that up for you. There's a short curve, because he's hunched over, and then this big curve, it's like a letter C. And we're seeing a lot of squirrels in our yards, okay? So this is inspired by my own yard, right? The back leg, it's again, it's a letter C, and then stop, like this, okay? And for the front paw, we'll just do a curved line, like this. Okay, for the front paw, look, you've got your back leg is like a letter C, but the front paw is two curved lines, I maybe did that too fast, so I'll wait for you to catch up. Two curved lines, and then this shape for the front. Uh, what would you describe that? A round letter L, and then two curved lines. I'll give you a minute, I think I did that too fast. Okay. Once you have these connected, and they should connect this round letter L and these two curved lines, and they're about a finger away from the chin and a finger away from the back leg. Then you can put lines in it, and that's what makes it look like they've got their hands. Okay, and then you can decide what he's holding, maybe a peanut or an acorn. I like to draw an acorn. And you do the acorn
is that shape, like half an Easter egg. Okay. And then you want to put the pointy bottom. So just like this. There you go. And at the top you could do crisscross lines. Okay. Got that? Okay. For the back foot, it's like um like the end of a hot dog, but it's a little more flat at the bottom. So I'll draw that and I'll hold it up for you. So see, it's like if you were to cut a hot dog wiener in half, that's the shape you want. <laughs> and a straight line. And again, you want to show that there's toes, so you just put a line in there. You can even do two if you like. Okay. Now he's not really connected, so we're going to connect under the chin all the way down to the tummy, okay? And just do that. Like that. And we want to make it look like there's two legs, so we're just going to do a hint of a line there. Can you see under the tummy? So you've got this line connecting it all, and now this line for the other leg. And we'll make the same foot shape, like a hot dog cut in half, and there you go. Okay. Now, in my poster, it doesn't really look like he's got two front paws, but maybe you want to do that. And you would just do that by making another line tucked in there. What is a squirrel missing that's super important? It's the tail. So when we make the tail, to make textures, you want to make a whole bunch of uneven lines. But you want it in an S curve, following the body, which is tricky to do. We can do this, though. So starting halfway down the back, you do a long line, a short line, a shorter line, a long line, a short line, a shorter line, a long line. Okay? We're going to do long, short, all over the place lines that go all the way around. Okay? So it gives the shape of the tail and gives the texture of the tail. So this is really fun. I like doing the tail. Short, long, long, short, 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 long, long, long. And I'm going to go all the way around the squirrel's body with uneven lines. And that gives you that nice squirrel texture. And I'm going to do that long, short, 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 kind of all the way around. And you can even do some inside just to give that nice texture. And I don't know, maybe he's standing on a tree branch. And begin to catch up. Begin to do really long lines. We'll make his tail look really furry. And put one of these little ones up there. And there you go. There's your squirrel. All that's left to do is to color him. You can choose markers, you can use pencil crayons. So, in here I've used markers. You can make the inside, I like the gray squirrels. There's also black. If you're gonna do black, actually I wouldn't suggest black. I'd keep it gray or brown, um, or red, brownish red, for those smaller squirrels, because you'll lose a lot of your detail if you just use your black marker to color him. If you were to do black and you really want a black squirrel, do a dark gray and then it will look black. And keep space between, see how this little guy, has white, I would leave a bit of space between the eye and you can use a dark gray marker or pencil crayons would work much better if you want a black squirrel. Don't press hard, don't get too dark. Thank you.